Now that we've discussed the context, role, audience, format, and topic of different writing occasions, let's look at an example. This one comes from education. Seventh grade student Jeremy has been exhibiting a change in behavior by talking out of turn and creating distractions for other students on a daily basis in class for the last two weeks. He is normally a quiet, well-behaved student, but recently he was, has become disruptive. As his teacher, you are interested in stopping this behavior to maintain classroom management and ensure a productive learning environment. Write a letter to his parents addressing his misbehavior and proposing a solution. So let's think about craft. C, or the context of this situation, why you're writing this, is because of Jeremy's behavior. Usually he's quiet and well behaved, and as his teacher you care and want to explain the situation to his parents in a clear way. R, or the role, is the voice. As a teacher, how or what would you say or wouldn't say to explain this to his parents in a clear manner. As his parents, the audience, what would they know or want to know, care about or not care about, in order to understand the situation fully? F, or format, is a letter. As a writer, consider what might the audience expect in the format of a letter. Is there certain information they may expect to be located in certain areas? And last, the topic is Jeremy's behaviors. What details and examples could you, ex could you use to explain the problem in a manner that will create a situation where you can propose with his parents a solution as adults who care? Next time you sit down to write, consider, why are you writing? What's the context in the situation? What are you writing about? What voices might you use for different audiences? And how are you writing? What's the most effective format for content and context of this writing situation? By being intentional about crafting composition, writers can realize their potential in academic, political, and community context.